You're not usually late for your own appointments. What's wrong? Sorry, just been thinking a lot about this. You know, making sure there weren't any errors in my calculations or- Yeah, yeah, never talk. Look, we can just- can we just get on with this already? I'm a busy guy and I have a lot more important things to do, to be honest, so... Do not interrupt me. <laughs> Bitch. You know what? You don't get to criticize one instance of my tardiness. Where the hell have you been? Around. Where, jackass? I was with Lemon. Bullshit. I was with her a few days ago. I don't appreciate being lied to. You know, friends don't lie to each other, Mace. Well, I'm pretty sure friends don't experiment on each other either, so... Mace, please, just stop giving me an attitude, okay? Look, it would go a lot faster if you just sat down, because I'm trying to help you. I'm really trying to help, that's why I brought you here, but please, for the love of God, just sit in the chair. Fine, whatever you say, pretty boy. So, this is it then. Hands-on approach that I was looking for. Why does it feel like I'm making such a big mistake? Well, you know what? You only live five times, so... Let's just go. Warning, Project Dynamo Power Surge ongoing. Proceed with caution. What happened? Mace? M Mace? Serious? Of all times, right now, there had to be a power surge. I. Okay, pull yourself together. You're in a lot of pain right now, Adrian. If you don't deal with this, the entire house is going to explode. You don't know where Mace is, so you have to just do it yourself. Just. Oh, what do I do? I don't have anyone to help me. I just. Think, 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 think. working, then it should be able to stabilize itself, or at least with a little help it should be able to stabilize itself. I don't know. I don't know anymore, but I messed up pad. Just like I always do, right? <laughs> Just like always. I managed to mess up horribly. I don't know what to do anymore. I can- sure I can fix this, but what after that? What, do I go to Creeper? Like, is that my best option here?
Okay, so maybe he was right. Maybe he was right. I mean, I don't know if I died. I really don't know if I died, but holy shit, this hurts. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Creeper! Fuck. Fucking hell. Just deep breaths, deep breaths, holy shit. Hi! Hi. You grabbed it, didn't you? Maybe I kind of need help. I can't fucking move my left arm or see. Well, my okay. vision is really fucked. Eat that, that'll hopefully help a little bit. Fucking hell. I hate to say it, you were right. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah, quite frankly, I am surprised that you... Honestly, I'm surprised it only took one life. I don't like, know. Like, from the looks of you, it definitely took at least one. But I'm surprised it didn't take all five. Somewhere between one and five, I have no idea. Yeah, I guess. You'll find out at some point. Look, I can't move my left arm. I can't see out of my left eye, so my, my vision's kind of fucked. <laughs> I- I kind of need a little help. Okay, what's... Oh, your wing's fucked as well. Okay, Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you feel in your left arm? No. Okay. Severe nerve damage, that's... You wouldn't happen to be able to... You wouldn't happen to know, like, a neurosurgeon, would you? No. Great. Well... That means that arm is most likely just now a hunk of useless meat. You're joking, right? I very much doubt that you will ever regain use of it. Okay, what about the eye? Because I can't see for shit. Well... Injuries that severe... Unless you die in like the first... Half hour, I think the number is. It scars permanently across lives. So. Fuck. And there's nothing you can do to help here. No. There was a reason I advised against this so strongly. Side note, don't know where Mace is. That's another thing that has to be dealt with, and it's not gonna be me who's gonna have to deal with it because I don't think I can do shit right now. Everything hurts or I can't feel it at all. Okay, let's... Um... You know what? That's... That's a later problem. We can... We can deal with that later. Yes. This shit, okay. Come inside so you don't get swamped by mobs. I doubt you'll be able to defend yourself from this state.
getting in your house is about to be a hassle. Okay. Okay, so... Just to clarify... You... Grabbed his soul. At least I had a glove on? But yeah, I, I mean, I w okay, I tried not to be stupid about it. I put a ton of different contingency plans into place so that I wouldn't die, which, I mean, that works, I guess. I guess, yes, that did. But my guess is that the only reason any of them worked was because your soul's it was because your souls are linked. And because linked souls... Energy transfer between linked souls is just really complicated. So... I imagine that's probably the only reason you actually survived. I'm not dead, that's something, right? Yeah, and you're right hand right? I mean, yeah, my right hand and right eye are fine. Pretty much the yeah. entire right side of my body is fine. Yeah, and your heart seems to be working, so... Yeah, it didn't stop, I'm, I'm here, I'm alive. Yeah. I permanently fucked myself up, didn't I? Yes. Injuries like that scar... bad. Okay, well- no Even if you could about... feel your arm, you'd be unlikely to be able to move it, so... I'd say that's at least one small mercy. Yeah. Now I have to worry about taking fall damage, which is not gonna be fun. Just wear feather falling boots or something. You get what I mean, though. This, this really fucking sucks. And it hurts a lot. Have you, like, washed it? Because I that's came, a lot of blood. I came right here. Okay, just... Okay, come with me. Let's at least make sure it doesn't get infected. Ah, uh, not suspicious at all, taking the injured child down into your weird basement. Look, I don't exactly have a tap upstairs. The closest thing I actually have to running water is down here in my potions room, so... <sighs> this fucking sucks. Yeah, well... Let's see what I can do. Yeah, that that golden apple probably gave you somewhat of a disinfectant, but apply these every half hour. Okay. <clears throat> if you have instant health potions, it'll probably at least numb the pain. This is really the Let me best see if I've I have got. an equal sling now. This is really the best I've got. <laughs> yeah. 
as with all of your mistakes so far, it seems like they're permanent, so best you can do is manage the consequences. Can you not pull that with me right now? I'm in a lot of pain and I don't feel like dealing with your backhanded compliments and sass. Okay. Good news! Managed to stop my house from exploding, though! That is a good thing. That is... Mm -hmm. There happened to be a power surge at the exact same time. I don't know how much you know, because you seem to know a lot more than you should, about Dynamo. Power surges are not very good for living in that general area. Yeah, it doesn't seem the most... stable in those circumstances. It's not. Managed to evade death twice, I guess. Not very well, but definitely managed to evade death. Well, at least permanent death. Is there a way for me to know how many lives I lost? Lose the last one. Besides that? Mm. There's probably something with, like, the strength of your soul, but... Quite frankly, I very much doubt you trust yourself with souls at this point. And I don't know if I trust you enough to work with it? Oh, I'd be surprised if you did. I don't really have a reason to trust you. But, I, I mean, the only reason I came here is because you're the only person who might know how to help. Yeah, and the answer to helping that particular injury is first aid. All I can say is don't try and put ice on it. That just makes it much worse. You really can't help. No, I cannot. So this was just a waste of my time. Lovely. Look, even, like, a Founder's Blessing couldn't help here. I don't think you quite comprehend how big you fucked up, and how lucky you are to get out of scot free as you did. Then tell me! Okay... From what I've seen from Mason, he, the most impressive thing I've seen Mason do was summon an entire box of obsidian. Like, an entire double chest worth of obsidian. And I did the maths, and I believe that energy was enough to blow up a small continent. And you... grabbed it! Causing that energy to go directly through you. And somehow I'm not dead. Somehow.
Okay, so I got lucky. You got incredibly lucky. Lucky. Is there any other damage this could have caused? Can you feel your left leg at all? Yeah, it's pretty much okay. Okay. You might get a few... Like, you might find it a bit harder to breathe. Maybe a few digestive problems. Oh, and I wouldn't drink alcohol, like, ever. But apart from that... So there's no other long-lasting damage I have to worry about? Not that will... Not that we can find out about, or that you can do anything about. Like, you've died, and you've eaten a golden apple, and as long as you use those healing potions, you should avoid a lot of internal damage. So... I'm working on something else right now, which is probably the last thing you want to hear currently. All I need to know is if this is going to affect that at all. Quite frankly... Does it impact your internal organs? No, but probably something to do with my soul itself. Oh god, your soul. Okay. I mean... You haven't had any memory problems. No, it's, it's too early to tell of weakness. Okay, if you have, like... A form of extreme long-term fatigue. And by long-term, I mean, like, several weeks. Then it's possible there's damage there. Do you know, like, any magic whatsoever? Okay, I'll, just... I'll just say some and leave it at that. I don't really want to go into detail on that, because that may or may not be part of what I'm studying. Okay. I really don't care what it is right now. Just see if you can still do it. 99% of magic revolves in your soul in some way. You might want to try and just enchant something just to be safe. If you can enchant something, your soul should be fine, as that's just channeling experiences which are all stored in your soul, so. Okay, so try that, and then is that, is that all I can do? Basically, from there, if you can do the things as normal, then your soul shouldn't be impacted. If you can't, then your soul is likely damaged, so... Honestly, rest in prayer. Would it be too... And if your soul's damaged, don't fucking touch it at all. Yeah. 
you know what, even with this experience, I'm still gonna say no promises. Um... My god, you do not learn from your mistakes, do you? I'm already fucked up. How much worse could it get? You could die. Besides, or you could end up like Mace, which pick your fate, really. Are there any other things that could happen besides that? I mean, you can end up in like a permanent comatose state. You could. I don't know, take out the other eye, probably. Is it too soon after the injury for me to try doing anything magic related? If you can. Try with something small first. But like, because go big or go home. Roll the dice, honestly. If your soul's damaged, you're fucked. If it's fine, you'll be just as fine as if you did it before the incident. Can I go outside and try something? Okay. Not something I wanted you to find out about, but you know what? You probably already know about it anyway, since you seem to know fucking everything. <sighs> okay. I'm trying to think of something... It wouldn't exactly be something minor, but what's, like, the smallest thing I could do here? I don't know. Protection bubble? You call that small? Look, I don't know what you know and don't know. Fine. Here goes nothing. Okay, well that worked. Okay, that's a good sign. That's a good sign, right? Yeah, that that probably is. Yeah. Okay. So I'm probably still okay to go through with what I was doing before. Okay. Should I attempt something bigger to see if there is any sort of limit to what I can do currently? I mean, sure. Just don't do anything that'll kill you. And by kill you, I mean attack you. So. Okay, so it's looking like I'm okay. Yep. I may or may not be working on finding a way to be able to use some of Mace's abilities myself. It may or may not have been a little successful, partially, maybe. 
Well, let's hope your little guinea pig hasn't been erased by this stunt. I don't know where the fuck he is. I was... Do you know if he is, period? How would I know? I was knocked out, and then when I came to, he wasn't there. Okay. Next time you talk to Lemon, I recommend starting with that little tidbit of you might have erased him. That doesn't... no! No! Not until I know for sure. I'm not saying anything about it, period. Okay, just... As long as you don't do anything too stupid and actually find him, I won't tell her either. Okay? Where do I even start looking for him? I don't know, energy signatures, probably? Do you expect Even me with the... to... Do you expect me to have it in me to track down a ghost right now? Did you get his soul's vibrational frequency, at least? No! Why? Why wouldn't you... That is like... That is like soul. Like, that is just basic checkup 101 with soul shit. Look, I, I don't know if you can tell. I'm just winging it at this point, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, and you're the only person I know who does know what the fuck they're doing. But it's not like you're gonna tell me. It's not like you would accept my help if I offered. Because I have no reason to trust you. All I've heard about you is that you manipulate and hurt people, so there's no reason for me to trust a word you say. All you've heard about me was from one person. One person who had first-hand experience. One person who also managed to get manipulated by Malachi as if he was just some puppet on strings. I don't... If I did manipulate him, I am evidently extraordinarily bad at it. Because Malachi, of all people, managed to be better at it than And that's just disappointing. I still don't trust you. I have first-hand accounts and stories of things you've said and done. Then why is it every time you fuck up, you come crying back to me for help? There's two reasons for that. One, you know what you're doing. And two, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm a little emotionally attached to you.
You are a very complex person. I can't tell if you mean that in a good way or a bad way. I mean it in a... in the nicest way I can say this possible. I have no fucking idea what your emotional state is. And as far as I can tell, it's just a hot mess. No, that's accurate. No, you're 100% right. Yeah, just... Look, my relationship with you is a little complicated. Like, I don't, I don't trust you, and I don't want to like you, but I'm emotionally attached to you. But, and it, it's probably because you're the first adult to show me any type of attention besides Lemon since my parents died. I don't know. Poor child. Well, so you kind of sort of remind me a little bit of my dad, but like, ow, that's a whole other thing. You know what? Let's not unpack that today, shall we? Let's... Yeah. Yeah, right now does not seem like an appropriate time for that. I don't know. Bottom line, my feelings are a little fucked. Yeah, well... Emotions are stupid sometimes. They really are. There's a reason I try and show them as little as possible. Once again, you remind me way too much of Alador. Did you like him as a parent? Well, I mean, yeah, he was- he was my dad. That's good. I didn't exactly like my parents. Or parent singular. I don't know who that is, but... I'm sorry, I guess. I don't really know what to say here, because you don't uh, tend to be a very emotional person. Yeah, I'm not. You probably know them. Because they were... one of the founders. And I did kind of take this theme after them, so... Wait, you're joking. Nope. Alavero. Yeah, the founder that I'm currently working with. Um... That's an interesting coincidence. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean... She wasn't exactly the best parent, but... There's a reason I just see them as people rather than gods. 
Eh, to each their own, I guess. Like, I may not agree with whatever the hell was going on in Bellkeep, but I do still follow that religion, because, I mean, that is something that I genuinely believe in. Yeah, but... One thing I've learned in my time is... People rarely hate their own religions. Yeah, you do have a point. Whose cat is this, by the way? Oh, uh, um, Malachi's. It is a very long story. It, yeah, it seems like a long story. <laughs> I'm sorry if what I said outside was a little uncomfortable. It's... Fine. It's... I mean... I'm already kind of taking over parent role for Cosmo and Mace's absence, though. Yeah, I, I know, it's just... I don't know. I just, I feel kind of attached to you and Lemon is all. Yeah. You know... When people first meet me, they always assume I'm scared of cats. That may or may not be why I have to, uh, are you not? I... I am literally standing right beside them. I have two more in other bases. I... So that's a no. That is very much a no. Well, I've got two cats now. Did you seriously adopt two cats just because you wanted to protect yourself from me? Maybe. Look, I honestly find you a little bit intimidating. Yeah, I'm... Honestly not surprised our first encounter wasn't exactly the most... Light-hearted. I am sorry for how I acted then, by the way. It's okay, just like maybe try not to pull a sword on me again. That would be lovely. I haven't done it since. Yeah. I'll try not to in future. I mean, it also wouldn't look very good on you now, considering you're the president. Hmm. Didn't look good on me anyway. It's just, you've got a little more expectations on you now, is all. A g bit of a grand title president. Just... Practically speaking, I'm just the only bureaucrat. Yeah, you have a point there. Like, I can push policy decisions, but... Quite frankly, the only situation I would actually do that would be if, like, Malachi got out or something. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. 
What did you do? Don't know what you're talking about. God damn it. I kind of thought you knew already. No. At least it wasn't my fault? I guess. I didn't do it. Bill, you really should have told me. I, I know. Did you tell Lemon? Only me and the other person involved know currently. Is that other person made? No. Allison, then. Okay, then. Yeah. I- I'm sorry, I- I really should have told you, it's just... Like we said earlier, feelings are really dumb, and... I have such mixed feelings about you. Yeah, but at some point, you gotta just... Learn to move past them, you know? I mean, but... But it's you. Okay. What do you honestly consider me to be? That's a really loaded question. Um, I mean, from what I've heard, you're manipulative and not really the best person, but... And is that your entire opinion? No. It, it's not. Because, I mean, as I said earlier, part of me sort of views you like family. But, like, well, family in the good sense. Yeah, that's... That's good, at least. You wanna know the reason I built this whole place in the first place? It's... I actually have been wondering that since I came here. Uh, I mean, the original house was just a house. But then, basically, Malachi started attacking it with magic after he found out I was working with Mace against him. So, it was a quick bit of conflict escalation. You can still see the remnants of it. I feel like the final blow was that tornado up there. Yeah, it's it really is something. Mm. Yeah. The purple stuff here is actually interesting. That was Mace. When was Mace trying to... He never told me about that. Yeah. It wasn't... 
Pontus. It really wasn't. Basically, we both together made this plan where we would basically contain him to one spot and that way Malachi wouldn't be able to get out. He wouldn't try and go into any of his god modes. He wouldn't try an escape. He could still talk with people. He could still like read books and that kind of thing, but his subconscious was doing all this as an attempt to lash out and get out. Even then, he still consciously wanted to stay, even though when Malachi did eventually break out, he didn't exactly want to go back in. He never told me about any of this. We did a lot of things together he probably didn't tell you about. All I was told was that you were, you know, manipulative and a bad person and yada yada. Mm. I guess just... The perspective of... What is now a dead man, I guess. From what I know, at least what he's told me, I really have only heard bad things about you. If there were only bad things, I wouldn't be a very good manipulator now, would I? See, you say it that as would a be... joke, but... <laughs> I don't think you're exactly a good person, but I don't really think you're a bad person either. I find there are very few good and bad people in the world. There are a couple, but I find most of them are just people. Yeah. But hey, at least you consider me a person. <laughs> That's more than I've gotten in a lot of places. Really? Freakers aren't exactly known for their friendliness. Yeah, you do have a point there. Like, like most organization, like most societies are purely human. This place is kind of a refuge for hybrids. So, I'm just I found my way here. I'm just built different, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, bad timing for a joke, but you know what I mean. Yeah. There's a bird on your house. Oh yeah, Leonardo, I... No one really talks about him. Mace actually gave him to me. Really? Yeah. See, more things that he didn't tell me. Yeah. I... I guess I just don't understand why he didn't tell me these things. Like, the fact... That you did things, you know, that weren't shitty? 
Yeah, I mean... Not really sure, honestly. I guess she just... Genuinely hates me now. Yeah, that's... That's too painful for me. I doubt he really... I doubt he really hates anyone right now. I mean, he doesn't really remember anyone. <laughs> Yeah, I guess he's, he's... Even still around, because I'm going to fucking disintegrated his ass. Why was I more angry that you insulted me about his death than the fact that you might have actually killed him? I wouldn't be able to tell you. I mean, I, you seem like you view your reputation very highly. So that could be it. Possibly, yeah. Uh... I've just hit a point where if I trust you to any degree, I don't give a shit what you think about me. That's a good attitude. I... I mean, come on. I have <laughs> shown Lemon and told Lemon some really fucked up shit that I've done, because I just do not care anymore. Yeah. Still, it's best to not antagonize people. Yeah. Yeah. Still. You know... Of the things Mace gave me, I feel like this is the most significant. The hell is that? His soul weapon. I have never heard of or seen one of those before. They are originally developed by Malachi. They are formed by and directly impact the soul. So. He effectively broke off a small piece of his soul and shaped it into that weapon. It can kill anyone with a single nick, just no matter how much armor or weaponry or anything. The one Malachi made was even worse. That infected your soul directly. And... Yeah, it just drained all your lives one by one. How the hell do you even make something like that? As I said, break off a piece of your soul, form it into a weapon directly. And I don't know the details, you with but. His. Yeah, I mean, I guess the alternative was Malachi, but heck, he could have given it to his own family, but he didn't. He gave it to you and not his family? Yeah. Do they know you have it? I think so.
What happened to Malachi's? It was... I put Curse of Vanishing on it, and... Yeah, it's gone now. That thing... I mentioned that I find there are very few truly good or evil people in the world. The fact that he made that thing... ...and used it... ...on almost all of the founders... ...to me, that puts him in one of the very few. Wait, so that's how they all- wait. Most of them, yeah. It's kind of his entire thing. Genocide. I thought his whole shit was, like, engineering and all that. Not- not that. No, I believe his specific wording was there can't be any more fights if there's no one left to fight, or something like that. Basically, he was performing a misguided attempt at peacemongering. Because he was too narcissistic to accept that the other founders were working just fine by themselves. Oh, so now, th so now that he's out, we're really fucked. Quite frankly, the only way I actually managed to put him in that hole was killing me. So... You wouldn't consider killing me, right? That's, that's not something that you'd consider, right? Not unless you made it very clear that you were allied with him. I've spoken to him, like, twice. I understand this. I am talking, like, actively betrays everyone to fulfill one of his plans, type making it perfectly clear. Is there any other way to get rid of him? Break him into isolating his soul, and... Hit it with something till it explodes, I guess. And there is no way this will impact me whatsoever. It's one of those things where a founder's soul has never been destroyed directly, though... So... It's very possible that you just keel over dead. It's possible you're perfectly fine. I don't know. Can you promise me you're not gonna try and find out? I promise I will not. I already died I don't know how many times today. I don't really feel like dropping dead permanently. Yeah, I mean... Apparently down there is quite uncomfortable. I I'm sorry, what? 
Oh, sorry. No, no, I'm not talking about L. I'm talking about... It's called, like, either the Void or, like, the Astral Plane. It's... As far as I can tell, where people go and they're, like, dead, dead. And there's a hole to it. Somewhere here, so... So I could go there. Getting there is not the problem. Getting back is. So it might kill me if I try. You are literally- it is literally the afterlife. Ah, so when's I'm not death? sure ah. what you'd expect. How do you know down there is unpleasant? I mean... It was like... Prophecy person? Had a dream where they, like, talked directly with their founder who was down there. So... From what you know, is there any way to communicate with the people down there? Apart from random prophecy dream, I haven't heard of any. Maybe that's something I want to look into. Well, I mean, don't know who I'd be reaching out to, since I already can talk to Malachi, and... may or may not have partial experience with someone else, so... Look, if you... If you do... Please, take my advice this time, and be careful. I will. I learned my lesson this time, okay? It's Literally, I'm going to have a permanent reminder of this lesson. For the rest of my life. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry yes. that I was stupid and I didn't listen. It's okay. Just... Don't do it again, okay? I'd rather not have to... Almost sounded like you valued my life for a second there. It's more so, it's just... Blind people are really annoying to help. <laughs> So what's the deal here between the two of us? Because I feel like, in a weird way, there's been a sort of emotional connection here. I guess... I... I feel like with one conversation, we shouldn't go from, like, enemies all the way to actually connected in some way. So should we just say, like, acquaintance for now? Yeah, and then sure. 
let's yeah let's go there um yeah if we want to go further we can figure that out then yeah i don't know today i learned that you're not a complete piece of shit so that's something yeah And also that I'm permanently crippled, which is going to suck. The only way you're actively disabled is not being able to fly, you know, like the rest of us. It still sucks. Actually, you know what? No, you know what? This is actually kind of a blessing in disguise. I don't know if you know this. Those wings... I was not born with those. Okay, then. They were sort of given to me as a reminder of a really, really shitty time in my life. Blackwell? Did I ever tell you the full story behind that? I don't think you did. Okay, I grew up in Bellkeep, which you already knew. Um, Alador, my father, he, well, he worked with, you know, we, we already had that conversation. Um, mm. My mother, Lily, she worked with Malachi, and I was supposed to work with Avis. Um, I studied journalism. My parents died when I reached a certain age in a fire that I was not home for, and if I had been home, I probably would have been able to stop it. Um, or you would have been able to die with them. Sure, or that. So... Basically ended up raising myself, a lot of other stuff went down, and I left. Bellkeep doesn't really take kindly to visitors or people leaving and coming back, so I was officially out of there. Um, when I was leaving, I got attacked by a bunch of wolves, I accidentally angered one of them, and the whole pack went after me. And I can't fight back, so I got mauled to death, and the entire time... I was calling out for Avis, and I got no answer, and this is sort of a way of mocking me. Uh. What is that whole thing of you not being able to fight back, by the way? There's a lot of reasons. One of them is I was never taught to fight. Another one is religious purposes. Another one is the fact that I am absolutely terrified of conflict. Do you just... panic when your panic response is to freeze? Yep. Oh. And I have been faced with a lot of conflict after I died as a final result. I was like, final, last resort, I was like, okay, let me call out to Blackwell, right? And he How did you even answered. know about Blackwell? Honestly, rumors. Stupid rumors told by children. But I was desperate, so I was like, hey, screw it, I'm just gonna try and see if this works, and it did. So we had this whole thing where it was like, oh, you pick a game, and then if I win, whatever, I, it was basically if I win, I get to feast on your fear for all eternity. If you win, then I'll give you what you want. 
I won. It was a game of chess, and... Oh my... Why? Just... Look, it... I'm not even gonna go into detail. It was... It, it's a long story. Yeah. So I won. And I was not careful enough with my wording, so here I am. The problem with picking skill-based games is that whether you win or lose, the demon will always win. Yep. So now I'm here. I've got two stupid fucking ghosts attached to me now, which is great. And I have a constant reminder of the fact that when I needed Avis most, I got no response. Just another reminder of one of the many times that I fucked up. So there you go, you've got my life story up until pretty much everything you know so far. I said that Alavero wasn't a good parent, but that's not quite the full story. She might have been, but... I wasn't her child. I was her guinea pig. A little sentient test dummy. I, I'm sorry. After... After a while, I learned to... stop feeling physical pain, but... The emotions I could never quite get rid of. Eventually, I snapped, and... The most brilliant founder... was dead. Funnily enough, it was an electricity experiment. Wait, you... You're joking, right? You... yeah... uh... I guess I mixed two founders I've killed. They're not gods, Adrian. They never were. They're not just people. You managed to kill two of them? Yep.
I'm sorry, that's probably a lot for you to take in at once. I guess what's going through my head right now is if you manage to kill two of them, what does that make you? I guess the God Hunter. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Definitely not trapped in an uh, enclosed space with someone who murdered two people. Great, um, okay. Mm. Would you like me to... The door is there. Yeah, yeah, I'd prefer to not be in, en in an enclosed space with you currently. Um... Wow, um... Do you want to keep talking, or do you just want to process? I'm honestly curious as to how you manage that, but also I am a bit terrified. Ah, uh, fuck it, curiosity killed the cat. Well... I am... A creeper. So, I inherited some of their traits. Oh my god. That's not even the best one. What is that supposed to mean? Well, you know how creepers will normally get charged if lightning strikes near them? Yes. Well, if I'm in a storm at all, I get much physically stronger. That's fucking terrifying. Yeah. As far as I can tell, it's more effective than any strength potion. Got it. So you could beat my ass. Adrian. A stray cat could beat your ass. You have a point, but, like, you didn't have to say it. Okay. You're fucking terrifying. Yeah, I... I guess I am. I, I don't mean- I don't mean that as an insult. I- I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's... I really should be taking it as a compliment. It's... One of those things, if you're able to scare people, is people with 
such a combination of carelessness and determination of yourself, then that proves you're capable, right? I guess. How do you be so goddamn scary all the fucking time? I guess I just wait to show my hand. That, in fact, is three aces. That's certainly a way to put it. That is, yep, that is certainly a way to put it. Like, I mean, hell, even your house is fucking intimidating. You know, the point of this was to just be grandiose. It just makes me more afraid of you. What the fuck? I mean, you can't argue it's not an effective method of cleanup. It, it definitely is. How do you even do this shit? Hundreds of years of practice. Yeah, sure fucking looks like it. <laughs> I mean, I'm what? 890 or something? Christ, you're old. Yeah, I mean... As I just said, I was around... Basically, at the end of the Founder era. Yeah. Yeah, you were. You're really not scared of cats. No. No, I am not. Re really? I am not scared of cats, no. Do you want me to be scared of you? Because it sure seems like it. <sighs> If it makes you feel better, I've been scared of mace before. Mace? Are, are we talking about the same mace? Okay. Back in his original body, when he got angry, he would... shapeshift into, like... Some kind of celestial abomination. He'd fucking what? Also, hold on, this is a good time for me to test something. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> okay, you've got to admit it's kind of cool. It is. I have no idea how it's done, though, because... Is it, like, chrono manipulation or something? Because... If you were, like, moving the planet, that would take a lot more energy than either you or Mace possess. And I would definitely feel something, so... I 
could show you how to do it at some point. That would be nice. It does seem like quite the useful thing to know. Yeah, especially when phantoms beat the shit out of me, because I never sleep. I am very sleep deprived. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe start doing that a bit more. I hear it helps with impulse control. Shut the Sorry, I <laughs> didn't. Uh, at least it was funny. Yeah. Wait, so you were scared of Mace? The what dude is... is, practically speaking, as close as I've seen to a god. And he shapeshifts into, like, an eldritch horror when he gets mad. How the hell did he even manage that? Yeah. Right. Yeah, Mace was Mace was a lot of things. Intimidating is usually not one of them, but when he got in the mood for it. Sounds like it. Christ. Yeah. He does this weird thing with his voice sometimes. Yeah, I think that's part of it. Like, he can perform that much while in your body, but you can't do the shape-shifting thing, thankfully. Well, yeah, I mean, I can do that much in my body. It's, it's not that hard. Like, it's, it's really... It's really not that difficult. It's... It's not hard at all. Huh. It's one of the relatively easier things. Mm. I would ask you to teach me that one, but I don't think I really need it. You really don't. I... You really don't. I'd prefer if you weren't able to do that. Yeah. Because that's... It's, it's fucking terrifying. You're already scary enough as is. But yeah, imagine Mace... Flying... Invincible... Shape shifting into like a horrible eye monster with that voice. Oh, yeah, there was a reason that was, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Is it bad that part of me wants to learn how to do that? <laughs> Honestly... I mean, it'd be a cool part of it. But as he didn't seem able to do it in your body, I'm not sure you'd be able to. 
It would be fun to try, though. I will grant you that. It probably would. It would be kind of interesting. Okay, so that's something to put on my list of things that I need to ask him how the fuck he did it, if he remembers. <laughs> I mean, As or... far as I can tell, he just kind of got that through. So if I piss him off, and then I ask how he did it, then I have a better shot. But I also have a significantly better chance of getting my ass beat. He's a ghost, can he even touch you? I don't like, as far know. as I can tell from Mace's experience with Malachi, it was mostly just, like, him not shutting the fuck up. So if I piss him off enough and maybe get him to do it, then maybe I can figure it out. I wonder if it's like a... Okay, this is just a hunch. Like, completely just a hunch. What if he can't do it in my body because it's not his? Which is, like, it might be one of the stupidest things I've ever said, but I also might be onto something, and I don't know which. I feel like the problem with that hypothesis is that he's able to do literally everything else. But here's the thing, though. Nothing else is really physical. Like, affecting the body itself. I mean, there is that one where he kind of just... turns invisible and can phase through walls. Fucking what?! Yeah... I don't think he can interact with anything, because he also phases through people. But... But yeah, I call that one ghost mode, because it's just... He just turns invisible and can see through walls and move through them and all that. That one actually sounds pretty useful, honestly. It kind of does, but I have no use for something like that. Um, as a panic response? Instead of just freezing up, you turn incorporeal. Yeah, but also, I mean, as, as a panic response, I can just... Let's say I was trying to go to you for something. Why didn't you do that earlier? Because I was freaked out and I didn't know yet if I could still use magic because I thought I was gonna fucking die. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. It's... It's not that hard, but my only concern is... The way that this works is once you figure out how to do one thing, it's not hard to figure out how to do literally everything else. Have you figured out the form shifting? No, I... No, I haven't tried. <laughs> I imagine that one would probably be much more difficult than the others. Yeah, it... I haven't... I haven't tried a lot of things. 
Because I'm not sure how they work, and I don't want to accidentally do something that I don't mean to. Because then I probably won't know how to fix it. That is literally how he found all of his spells, effectively. Really? Like, he just... I know this is very much a me quote, but he literally fucked around and found out? Yeah. I mean, there's one, like, the power orb, where he literally just did it in the middle of a panic attack. And, like, that's how he learned how to do it. Normally, I just freeze up. I wonder if there's a way for me to figure out how to do that. There's also an explosion one similar to what I did up there. Are you telling me that it's possible for me to fucking explode? It, It is quite possibly possible for you to fucking explode, yes. Well, hopefully it'll be the stuff around you fucking explodes, but yes. Okay. Can I test something? Not near your house, preferably, because I do not want to accidentally fuck up your house. Okay. Should we just go out into the desert? That's fine. I just... I found a book recently that was in Mace's handwriting that has a ton of shit in it. And it's formatted similarly... Okay. The way that Mace's magic works, it's gotta have a certain format to it. It's sort of like thinking of... Hmm. Computers don't really exist anymore. But, I don't know, you were around around the time of the Founders. It's like thinking of a string of code, almost. It's similar. Not quite, but it's similar. Right, so, I'm guessing it's more complicated but, than this, but it would just be like, slash explode dot exe. Pretty much. And some of these aren't even in his handwriting. Mm. Like, whatever the hell this is. Oh, that's... Something Malachi used. Do you mind punching me quickly? I would prefer not to. I'm not gonna punch you back, don't worry. I'm 90% sure you have thorns on that armor, I'm not trying it. Oh, right, okay, sorry. <laughs> no, it's just, I think he got much stronger from that, so I wanna see if you do as well. I am not hitting or you. you. Could... I am not okay. hitting you. So there was that. I don't know. What's something... I'm curious as to what the fuck this one is. But it looks a little destru destructive. <laughs> We're about to find out. I'm going to step way back from you, because I don't know what the fuck this is. Oh, well, we figured that one out.
It, the explosion one. <laughs> we figured that one out. Yeah. Interestingly, yours leaves, like, a platform for you to stand on. I can fucking explode, shit! Yeah? <laughs> oh, what the hell? Okay, this is really fucking cool. <laughs> I'm not wrong, it is really cool. It is. Is there anything you want me to teach you? I, there are limits to that because I am absolutely fucking terrified of you. <laughs> um... Should we start with something simple, just like... Changing the weather. Is that simple? Yeah. Okay. Try this. Okay, then. That is, like, the extent of what I will probably teach you. <laughs> that, um... We are in a desert, though, so it'll probably just get really dark. Yep. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Interestingly, there wasn't the set. Like, when I tried it with set, it didn't work. God, I... Look, my brain is so empty right now. Also, I so I mm, you know, maybe that's not the one we should have tested. Yeah, I haven't done that one in a while. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have <laughs> tested that because that's fucking terrifying. <laughs> I'm trusting you not to try and do other shit with this. It's like, whatever, great power- with great power comes great responsibility and all that shit. Even though I'm like yeah. the least responsible person here. <laughs> Are you trying to clean up the mess in this area? <laughs> I like to clean up the landscape a little bit. Because it looks messy as Probably. Fun. Yeah. To the point where it's kind of just a fruitless effort. Yeah, it's... You're gonna need to dedicate like a day to doing that. Yeah... At this point, Endermen practically own this section of the desert. Yeah, this is their land. <laughs> is that one of the fucking bubble things in the distance? Yeah, I think so. Do a Bruh. practice of dominance. <laughs> 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 you 
You should have yes. done it back. Assert your dominance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do- I can't assert my dominance from ten blocks beneath you. That's not how that works. <laughs> yeah. That's actually the bigger bubble, I think. There's different bubble sizes? Yeah, one's just for him, one has companion slots. <laughs> I think that was written in the book. Hold on. Yeah, bubble. Big bubble. <laughs> There's one that just says fire. Um, I mean, we're in the middle of a desert and we both have water buckets on us, so... So why the hell not? I guess. I'm going to a wider area to test some of these things out because we kind of destroyed the shit out of that hill. <laughs> As in, I kind of destroyed the shit out of that hill. <laughs> okay. That's just straight up a ring of fire. Yeah. I'm not sure why he made this one. Gonna be honest. Straight up just fire. Just fire. Bubble. Small bubble. <laughs> Let there be light. Oh, I took out a torch. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that's more dramatic. <laughs> Remy. Oh my god, wait. I have a regeneration boost in here. Oh. That's useful. <laughs> Do you have a pickaxe? I do. I'm just kind of enjoying the feeling of not being in as much pain as I've been in all day. Freedom. I'm pretty sure there's other stuff I can do too that's a little more complicated. But I don't know if right now is the best time to test that, considering I am very much physically injured. Yeah, we kind of brushed past that bit. Did being in less pain just make you notice the pain more, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and also I've been very much distracted by everything else. Mm. You have an enchanted prismarine block? Nope. <laughs> I mean, come on, you, you can't even enchant blocks. Where, where, how would I get my hands on an enchanted prismarine block? I don't know. It's impossible. <laughs>
Adrian. I don't think you quite know how bad of a liar you actually are. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what? I'm not gonna push the point. Bye. Uh, just jump off a fucking cliff? <laughs> yeah, fun fact. You land in water, no one takes full damage. Yeah, but like, but... Uh, <laughs> you're fucking crazy. <laughs> you're actually crazy. <laughs> It's not like I'd die from it, even if I did miss the water bucket. I'm already in immense amounts of pain. But I do have a full set of netherite armor. Does it have feather falling? <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> okay, I then. I didn't make my boots. <laughs> Do you want to see if you can make the jump? I'm gonna miss it, and it's gonna be fucking hilarious. Well then. Okay, time for me to be your comedic relief, I guess. Yep, out. <laughs> you saw nothing. <laughs> oh really? Oh really? Did I see? Did I see nothing? I don't know. Did I? I I think I saw you just miss that. <laughs> that was the joke. Man, that would have been a really not appropriate time for me to make a your mom joke after what we talked about. Um. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, would've been a not appropriate time to make that joke. Um I feel like it's less an appropriate time and more an appropriate person. You fucking killed her. <laughs> I'm Wow, that was missing the point. Okay, then. I mean, it's true. You did, in fact, do that. I did, but... Didn't I? I could have sworn I gave, like, a tragic anecdote which ended on that point. And that wasn't, like, the baseline. The fact that you say it like that makes me feel like you're leaving something out. I mean... There were other test objects. I mean... That's fucking terrifying. There's, There are more things out there that are similar to you. That is not a concept that I like thinking about. I don't think there are any more, but... Why the fuck wouldn't there be? Well... Quite frankly, I was a military breed, the others weren't. The fuck what, you think I can do all that you? shit and I'm not built for combat? <laughs> the fuck even are you? <sighs> and don't say, oh yeah, I'm just a creeper, because that- no. I am... <sighs> I am... a biological superweapon that puts a coli in its place.
Yeah. I don't exactly take pride in it, but... I personally that think That is you what should. I am. <laughs> I personally think you should. Really? You seem like the last person to want to support something like that. But it's fucking cool. It's yeah. terrifying, but it's cool. <laughs> yeah, I... Yeah. It's not exactly something I would introduce myself with, though. So. Yeah, you wouldn't be like, Hi, I'm Creeper, I'm a biological super weapon. But, like, <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. It's like the same way I don't introduce myself as, Hi, I'm Adrian, I'm a fawn, and my parents are dead. Yeah, it's like tier two friend stuff. <laughs> you have to be a tier two friend to know that my parents are dead and that I may or may not have a demon that torments me every... pretty much every single night. Now that's where the sleep deprivation comes from. Okay, then. Yeah? There is a lot to Blackwell. It's like the world's worst onion. There are so many layers, and none of them are pleasant. Yeah. The outermost one is, like, what Lemon experienced is, probably. Just... The outermost one is him eating salt in chairs. And then you get to, like, the inner layers, and it's like, oh yeah, uh, where he comes from, how he was made, which is fucking terrifying. You have a story about that? Yeah, I do! Yeah, I know it was, like, Malachi, but I don't have any details. That's the one detail I didn't have. What I knew Go on. is that he was created by someone, and the process may or may not have involved eating the eyes of several creatures and a person, and sacrificing a dog. Malachi kills puppies and is a cannibal. Add them to the list. Um... Yeah, no, unpleasant shit. Very unpleasant shit. Yeah. He was apparently made to spy on people through their dreams and thoughts like a terrifying fucking psychic bitch. I thought he could only target one person at a time. I would... One person at a time. However. If him... Or the person that created him, which I now know is Malachi, which is great, have any sort of attachment. Like, if, if they have any sort of attachment to other people, that other person can then be targeted by Blackwell. Which, I might be fucking you over here by talking to you. Just a heads up. Honestly, if a relationship with one of Malachi's foundlings would get me targeted by Blackwell, I would have been, like, six months ago with Mace. So. There might be a possibility he's scared of you, in which case, please stay near me at all times, holy shit. <laughs> I'm not joking. I have not slept in so long. Okay, what I made, what I'm about to propose, 
you are either going to scoff at, agree to immediately, or run the other way. Would you like to sleep in my basement? What the fuck? Let me vote this way. It prevented Malachi from affecting Maze at all. Like, it's completely under this. I don't even sleep in this boat most of the time, so you'll probably have it to yourself. Is it any better than a tent? I mean, it has... I mean, you can come look. Not like... You'll have a roommate, but dead roommate is a snowman. And the snowman is gone. Okay then. Why the fuck do you even have this? Um, mace. Honestly, I think it might still be some of his. Yeah, some of his journals are still here. So. Did he take the- There used to be a bed in here, I don't- Okay. How about- You know, do you want to just like- Just a place to sleep, it doesn't even have to be like- Living here. Sleep is better than no sleep, I guess? Yeah? I haven't slept in so long. Yeah, I'm... I'm gonna go get your bed then. Just waiting so that we can cut this bit as it fades from the chat. There we go. I mean, yeah, just sleep, I guess. I'll leave you to settle yourself in if you want help moving stuff over where I can. Yeah. Thanks. 